Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial on Canva. Before we get started, make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime, anytime, anytime I upload new videos. So, let's jump straight into Canva. Okay. So here we are in Canva and the first thing as usual is to create your dimension. So, I normally go for 1080 by 350 okay and uh create design so i think i tried earlier but my internet went off so yeah okay so we are going to create one of these do you want us to create this or this just choose one so you want this or you want this you want this okay 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 so you said you want this okay you want this okay this okay so we are going to create this okay so the first thing we are going to do huh you said you want okay you want this okay 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 so we are going to create this okay so the first thing we are going to do is um so with the photos first of all i went on on splash okay and it loaded up beautifully and i searched for nike or nike or nike okay so you know that's why i got it and uh, that's why i also got this one from and you can also go with this looks clean okay and just in case you are not running on the canva pro there's an alternative because you need to remove the background so you know i'm not on canva pro and i'm sorry about that but uh yeah you know uh, i'm not on canva pro i don't know why I don't know why so this is what we are going to do um I, I just want to explain something quickly if you're on canva pro okay you can just um import the image and i think effect or something like that aha uh -huh, you see the background remover remover okay and uh yeah so that's what you can do oh sorry i was watching facebook i was just going around so the alternative is remove.bg okay and there is other, there are other websites you can use but this is okay for you remove.bg and you can see i just use that to remove my background okay yeah then the next thing you have to do is to import them into canva so you just click and drag sorry click and drag okay that's what you just that's, that's the whole thing you have to do and just in case you don't know how to drag please um i have um a school where you know you get to teach how to drag you know use the mouse so just in case you don't know how to do that just let me know in the comment section and i'll be glad to help you out so yeah but i'm thinking of not using this shoey i'm thinking of using something else this one is attracting me this one is attracting me and i feel like going with that but i don't know anyway let's just okay so we are just going to recreate this and you know it may not be ex exact exactly like this but you know you just get the idea so yeah i have this over here and what we are going to do is to create the box or the line kind of thing you saw so in order to um help myself from not messing around i'll just lock okay so that i can't move out i like i just can't remove this at all then i'll come into my elements click and you search for the line okay so yeah then what we are going to do is we are just going to play with the line to create a custom uh you know custom shape so this is what i'll do i'll just bring this down here okay and i'll control c control v then i would rotate this 90 degrees move it here okay and i'll just use the arrow key up up down one okay then i'll come 
to the bottom ctrl c ctrl v i'll rotate it to like um negative 360 <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay so to zero actually sorry i i just have to be serious these days so ctrl v ctrl c again rotate to 90 okay then you would bring it here okay let me see if it's okay i think this is looking good so now it's up to you to choose how you want it so this would go back okay and this is front okay so what we can do is you can select the whole thing and just move it here somewhere okay yeah then right click send to back okay so that we can have some oh why didn't this move everyone was moving and you were just still waiting for me to come and kick you okay so yeah okay so i think um, now what we can just do is to group oh no grouping is a bad idea so it's just um don't worry about my background it's just some children my little brother is actually making noise so yeah and i'll just lock this also over here then we have something like this okay so i think maybe i'll undo first and um, i rather send this to back okay then you know this is front front back sort of you know it doesn't really matter where the line oh let me just select all and move it up a little bit okay i think this is fine with me so i'll just move also this one to the back so that it will look something like this okay so that's nice so select all and just lock in order to stay safe okay so the next thing we are going to do is i have this shadow um over here upload and i have this shadow it's a black shadow that's how the south africans would say black black and i like how they speak okay so we have this beautiful shadow over here and already it's making this thing look sleek and sweet and interesting so the next thing we're going to do and just in case sorry you don't i know you don't have the shadow okay and um, i'll just show you where i got it from so hover do hover jump to png guru okay and over here pngguru.com we are going to search for um trans transparent shadow yeah so it should load up like how mine is loading then you should scroll down oh hope i is it um oh uh, no um i think i search for is it gradient okay gradient um shadow i i can't remember can't remember but um hey you know it's in the description sorry i forgot to just say it's in the description <laughs> i wasted how many seconds of your time don't worry it's fine you know it's fine after all i'm making the tutorial for you so yeah and you know we would also want to customize this um shadow okay to any color we want you know you need to um have full control so we'll go into effects and we would go into dual tone or dual tone okay and you can just choose any one it doesn't really matter okay then would after you select the one you want you click again you know in this settings icon there click great then we'll just set the colors we want so i'm just going for red and i'll come here to red okay that's what i want then i would apply or apply <laughs> okay so right click send to back 
it's looking clean already okay so the only thing i did was i just control c control v move to up rotate 180 degrees celsius okay and you can see how it's looking then turn to back this is looking cool look the next thing you have to do is to add your text so go on add your text and i'll see you in my next let's continue so what did i do night pro okay so i'll just come here you press you know let me lock and lock so press t on your keyboard for text and i've taught you one shortcut i have taught you one shortcut so nike and uh, i'm going to search for a very thick text and i don't want to waste time on searching for the font type so nike scale make a big you know and uh, drag and i can we're not going to do the exact thing so i'll just make this i'll change the color to um you know there's one cool feature i love about canva Surely it's just beautiful. You can set the colors to how you know it is and stuff, and it's looking sweet. Ah, you know, um, when I was little, I used to be in the choir, and you know, I was very good. I could sing, and my voice was just so nice. But all of a sudden, I realized my voice just became so terrible. And now, anytime I sing, my friends get to tell me I sound like a frog. So I don't know if it's that's true, but just in case you want to hear me singing, you know, just let me know. Okay. So. Okay. So I think this is looking sweet. I'm trying to um, select the text. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's fine. So the next thing we are going to do is to add the pro okay or uh, what you can do here is at this point i think you should just play along you know like it's all about playing having fun testing things out i'm just um okay so t again then i'll search i'll just type pro okay and i'll make this also big and uh, I'll, I ca I'll just place it here Okay, and maybe I'll make the color. Let me make it yellow. No, yellow won't work fine. I think I should just use. Okay, this maybe this is fine. So, Nike Pro. Or what we can even do to make this sick is we can just do this. And just how come I didn't even think of this earlier? Okay, so we can just do this. Okay. Okay, so let me just control C, control V, and um, we we'll just say R. Okay, and control C, control V, and uh, oh, so okay, and uh, I'll just drag. Okay, so something like this, and maybe if I want to just go crazy. Oh, I guess I can just send this to back and also send this to back. Okay, so this how I don't know if it's hope you're getting it like something like this even looks clean, you know, and it's all about playing, playing. Like I always say, just play. You need to play like don't be so serious. Sometimes you should just hop on Canva and just be playing around. Let me just uh, unlock this. Right click, send to back. Um, okay, so I'll also right click this, send to back because I want to just have access to the O. Oh, so I was supposed to be pressing Control and. Uh, yeah so i would control you know when you have so many layers just be pressing control to be going deeper and deeper and deeper yeah 
so something like this you know it's it's clean i think i like this better wow you know but the whole idea was you know i just use it straight you know at the back but you get it you, you, j you can just do whatever you want you know and just i think i'll stick with this this looks better to me and uh, the next thing i'm going to do is lock this come down here and i'll lock it also and um maybe i want to do okay get this and control c control v i'll change the color to white and i'll make it very big okay so very i think it's too big scale it down yeah a little bit and move it here so something like this then i'll just reduce the transparency okay then i can control c control v control c control v okay and i can just bring this one also you know to the top and it's looking it's looking cool i think this tutorial is so clean one more thing just do it nike without just do it it's just don't do it so just do it and with this i'm going to use the monserrat or monserrat so any way you pronounce it it's just up to you okay so i'll change the color to bl bl black <laughs> yeah now just put it here use the size a little bit and yeah this is looking awesome so nike pro just do it and yeah this is the end of the tutorial oh so soon i'm done hey and before you go you know i just wanted to say this you can also check me out on instagram so i just have my account open here and you can just see so there are so many content you just enjoy and there are so many things here to enjoy so hit me up on instagram send me a message i'll like to hear from you and you know the name is benjamin and don't forget to like share comment subscribe you know all of that just show some love so i'll see you in my next video